Hello everyone, welcome to What Culture Gaming. My name is Kirsten Rhea and today I'm going for that crown. So if you've been watching any of our live streams that me and Jules as well as Rich and Osley have been playing recently, we've been doing a lot of Fall Guys and we have got very close to the crown but I myself have not and there are certain levels that I really struggle with. So I've decided to go away, have a look at some of these strategy guides. I've, I've looked at Scott's video, I've looked online, I've looked through the, you know, strategy guides from Fall Guys, I've looked at other people's videos on YouTube and I want to see if they work. I want to see if these strategies actually do help me get closer to that crown. So let's get started. Okay, gate crash. So with this one, it was very interesting because they were saying about how like you have to make sure that you go through the gates as they are closing and then there's ones near the end where the ones on the outside don't open as often as the inside. So we'll see. We'll see how we go. Okay. So yeah, basically it says you need to go for the one that's closing or opening. Oh gosh. Off to a good start, off to a good start. Oh, how I made that, I have no idea. Yeah, so this one, they said that the outside ones don't open that often, so to go for the inside, there we go. So, I need to get out of this. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, we're not doing good, okay. So here it says that you can slow down if you need to, but I think I might be okay. Yes, okay, good. So yeah, basically on that one, that's not too bad. I've done that one plenty of times, but I feel like that went a little bit better than usual, but I think that we might have got caught up with a lot of the crowd there, which definitely slowed us down, but we still made it. We still made it. We're still up there a pretty good time. Ah, okay, Dizzy Heights, I remember this one. So the big key here is that you have to make sure you run the way that the wheel is going. Even if that means going all the way round, it's just so much quicker to just follow it round than it is to try and run against it. So, which should be pretty self-explanatory, but I <laughs> didn't think I'd do that, so, okay. So yeah, so we need to basically follow this round like this. Go, go around, oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, okay, yeah, this is quicker. So just follow it round. Okay, yeah, that was definitely quicker. Uh, and then here it said that it doesn't matter if you get like hit down because um, you only lose like a few seconds. So it shouldn't matter too much. Oh, there we go. Oh, get up, oh gosh. Oh gosh, we're, we're lagging a bit, we're lagging a little. Okay, and then obviously here, the big factor is just making sure that you jump after this bit because, um, yeah, because you need to just make sure that you don't get hit. And then it also said about staying next to the sides, which apparently if you stay next to the sides, you won't get hit. There we go, okay. That was definitely easier. Yeah, so that last stretch, if you stay right next to the side, um, you won't get hit by the balls. And that's what you can see a lot of the other people are doing. So people are starting to catch on, you see. But I would have just frantically gone through that and been freaking out the entire time. So yeah, strategies seem to be working. Roll out, okay, right, cool. So this is another one that I think I might be okay in. It just said to just make sure that you're always trying to be on a side that's on its way up. So. We shall see. I think you've just got to outlast everyone else, so. Yes, always be on one that's on its way up. Out of the way, out of the way. Oh! <gasps> that son of a bitch, did you see that? Son of a grabbed me so that was that was taken from me that was taken from me they they cheated me out of a win there oh okay team tell tag okay working as a team we can do this uh oh uh oh <laughs> no he took it back from me okay now we just need to run now we just need to run Oh no, I fell over, he got it, he got it. How did he get that? 
Oh, these guys have a strategy. Ah, interesting. You get knocked in the head, but you're okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. As long as we don't go below that. Okay, well. So that isn't a strategy that I even knew of. That was just something I've just picked up by watching these people hide in there. Interesting. Okay, well that worked. The only thing is, I mean, as long as you've got a tail, I guess you're okay. You've just got to try and stop people from getting yours and hope that the rest of your team picks up the pace. So I'm going, oh no. Okay, so I think Osley was saying there's a lot of little bits that you can kind of cheat your way through on this. I said something about using a trampoline at the beginning. I don't really know. Ah, there we go. Oh god, okay. Oh, okay, not a good idea. Not a good idea. So there is a trampoline at the beginning there that you can obviously jump into. Okay, 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 we're alright, we're alright. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Go, go. Ooh, okay, I don't know how I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. just do that what the hell tiptoe no i hate this one so much okay so this one said about just following the people that are in front of you basically and that the ones near the end always tend to be the same blocks so um yeah i'm basically just gonna follow somebody else and just try and hold back Yeah, I ain't going, mate. You go. I'm going. <laughs> Someone go. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to do it. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's only gone and done it. Okay, okay, so that strat definitely works. Just holding back and letting other people do your work and then following them blindly. <laughs> oh, oh my God, does this mean I'm actually like near the end? I might actually have a chance to the crown here, guys. How, how has this happened? Full mountain, okay, right. So I did see a little bit of what I'm supposed to do here. I think it just says to just try and keep to the sides. And then when you get out to the top, not to jump straight away. Because that's what Osley did. He got all the way to the top. And as he jumped, the crown moved. I think he, because he was basically against another person, he kind of went for it. Okay. Taking the long way around. Oh, no. Okay, okay. We're all right, we're all right. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, that's all right, it moved me up, it moved me up. Oh God, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I made it to it, but I'm not gonna make it. Oh no, that guy, he's up there. He's up there, he's up there, I'm not, oh okay, I have to jump here, okay, didn't realize. No, but I got there, look, look how close I got to the crown. Damn, okay, okay, so that was good. That was a good, that was a good round. So the strats definitely, Definitely seem to work. The tips and tricks do seem to work. And I was remembering a lot of what Scott had said and what Osley and Richard said for certain levels. And it definitely seemed to work to the point where I've actually got a chance to get the crown there. Like, that has never happened. 
Damn, okay. I think I'm just gonna have to leave it there because I did get very close to the crown. I got very close, but because I've never actually done that, because I've never actually got that close, I didn't know what to do. I um, I kind of had read up briefly about what to do and I just panicked. I panicked and I will keep trying. I will try and see if I can get the crown and if I do, I will try and make sure I record it. But I think, yeah, with this game, it is like, being repetitive is playing this game is getting to grips with the levels even if that means constantly backing out and then going back in just kind of getting into the rhythm of how things work but then i also think that using the tips and tricks and the strategies does really help but you have to be smart about how you use them like for instance with the whirly gig they say about jumping onto the yellow thing and then onto the actual um plinth thing but People obviously know to do that now, so there's just so many on the, the little yellow stumps that you can't actually get onto it. So I think it's just using your initiative. There's a, if there's loads of people on there, it's better to just kind of probably go around to the side and then jump up and go that way. It, it's stuff like that. Like even that one where the, the slime is slowly starting to build up and I heard that you have to jump on the trampoline, which obviously a lot of people are doing, but the slime still comes up. And it got to a point where I was just like, there's no point. I'm not gonna get onto this trampoline. If I don't move now, I will get eliminated. And I ended up being like, what the f like first or second person to actually qualify so yeah use your initiatives but also look up tips and tricks play it a few times play a few rounds keep going in and out in and out to just kind of get the actual rhythm of the game but yeah the tips and tricks definitely do help so if you do want to have a look at some other tips and tricks you can watch scott's video on his strategies on how he thinks are the best way to make it through and the little tips and tricks that he has recommended to get your way through the game quicker but again use caution because they don't always work you have to get them either perfect or you know there's always that chance that things are going to go wrong but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a big old thumbs up if there's any other games that you'd like to see me play make sure you comment down below if you haven't already click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be notified of any new videos coming your way and if you'd like to see any polls that i've been putting out for games to play and challenges to do then make sure you follow me at custom real with two a's on instagram and twitter as well as at what culture gaming on instagram and twitter but thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll see you next time bye